and hello everybody, this is Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you, um, doing things a little different this morning, got off to a bit of a late start, at least for me, uh, those who have been following me for the, uh, most of the week know that I've been struggling with, uh, food poisoning, and when I tell you, uh, it's been rough, uh, I've come a long way in a couple of days, a few days, uh, but my stomach's still talking a different language right now, uh, and that's not the worst of it, so the worst of it is over, but still not 100%, so I'm kind of still pushing, uh, and I know if I let the day go any longer, I'm not sure how my body's going to hold up, and so I wanted to kind of do this, and I'm on the way, got up this morning, uh, went through my priming and did all of that, then realized that uh, wasn't any coffee in the coffee coffin. And I'm like, hold on a second. And those of you who know me, uh, when I post every morning my uh, warrior quote for the warriors, uh, I'm drinking my coffee, man. You know, uh, that's my vice. That and cigars. Uh, but uh, wasn't any coffee, so I got to go get my coffee and non-dairy uh, creamer, my almond creamer, and uh, try to get back and get some things done. But I'm going to do this uh, in the interim, uh, so work with me here. I prefer to be in the lab chilling when I do my videos, but, you know, every now and then I'm out, and so I'm... Uh, doing it this way impromptu uh look every body wants to be or do something even if they've squashed that dream they want it uh that's something you want to do that's something you desire out of life that's somewhere you want to go um and Unfortunately, there's been something that has come into your life and sort of shut you down. Maybe you had a hardship. Maybe you're fearful or you procrastinate. Maybe life happened. And, and see, the thing is, that's going to happen. The vicissitudes of life are going to roll into your paradise. Paradise. I, I, I can guarantee you that, that you are going to have... A time in your life, multiple times, in which you look up and things are shaking, things are unraveling, people around you are not the people they used to be, people who used to treat you with love and respect are uh, coming at you with acrimony and animosity, and you're trying to get, get gain your balance as you lose a loved one, you have a child acting up in school, uh, you're trying to figure this single parent thing out. It's so many things that will come at you. Um, in, in the course of life that don't line up with your blueprint or your idea of what life should be. It's going, some things are going to go wrong. When, when things go wrong is when you start to look at the core of who you are and trust your design. Uh, when things go wrong, you start to uh, examine the passion and the purpose behind your dreams and your desires. When things go wrong, um, you, you start to sit up and understand that it's not going to be the circumvention of pain and heartache and disappointment and delay that's going to guide you to this success, this desire, this vision, this dream, this, this, this thing in life that's so big, it's pulling you. That's not going to be achieved and, and, and realized uh, by circumventing pain. See, pain is inevitable. Pain is coming. You can't avoid it. It's a part of life. It's a part of the process. And see, the thing you've got to gain in your mind before you ever get started is that process process always precedes promise. You don't get to have or uh, 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 obtain the promise without there first being an endurance of the process. There must be a, 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 an engagement of delay, uh, an engagement of disappointment, an engagement of people talking about you, an engagement of overcoming fear, an engagement of understanding that everything is going to have times, places, moments 
and, 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 and eras and that you've got to be able to sustain yourself through the cycling of the achievement of your promise, of your vision, of your dream. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not built that way, but you are built for the battle. You are built for the struggle. You are built for the heartache. In your design is the capacity to push through things. In your design is the capacity to hold still and firm on what you hold dear to you. It's about being willing to go the distance. Go the distance. That, that, that's, if, if there's something I can leave with you, you're not going to have all the answers. When you decide to do something great, you're not going to have all the answers because it's going to go beyond the scope of what you've ever experienced. So you won't have the experience. Uh, you won't necessarily have the skill set at the time you make the decision. You might not have the connections. You might know the people. That's one of the reasons that Les Brown always says when you're making that decision that you're going to go for something, you don't do it based on being able to figure out how you're going to get it done. How you're going to get it done at the moment you make the commitment is none of your business. It doesn't become your business until the commitment is closed, until you have made a, a, a conscious decision that come hell or high water, there's absolutely nothing that's going to stop you. Uh, a lot of people get into these in, in, into these things where they, they know what they want, they get out there and it gets a little rough. It doesn't show up uh, uh, the way you want them to. It doesn't show up uh, a look how you thought it would look and you immediately start to try to find a way to make it more comfortable for you but see the dream the vision the the advancement the growth the development none of it's comfortable it's not in the comfort it's not in the circumvention of pain it is in the perseverance of of, 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 of your faith in yourself in your design in what you were placed on this earth to do and if you believe in a creator then you have to understand that you are designed with everything you need it needs to be refined it needs to be developed it needs to be coupled with experience and knowledge and wisdom but you have the tools to persevere you've got to learn to stand in no surrender no retreat i'm not giving in i'm not turning around i'm not giving up i'm not letting go i've got my eyes fixed on what it is i want and i'm not going to let it go that's how you make it it's not going to be easy we need to stop teaching our kids that it's easy we need to tell them that the sky is the limit. We need to tell them anything they set their minds on they can do. We need to tell them that don't they, they don't need to settle in life. But we need to tell them that that comes with a fight. We need to tell them that it comes with hard work. We need to tell them that it comes with commitment. We need to sit up and tell them that marriage ain't easy. So when you get in marriage, don't get in and expecting your partner to be able to carry you or heal your brokenness. Marriage ain't easy. Don't get in it thinking that everything is about you. Marriage ain't easy. What if marriage wasn't so much about your happiness as it was your development and your commitment and your capacity to serve this world? What if marriage was the training school of character? You've got to train your kids to be prepared to go into things to win. We've got too many kids looking for easy. Some of you out there looking for easy too. You know, when I decided to go out into the world, one of the first things I did as I began to experience a certain level of success is be able to travel. And uh, the one thing that being able to travel taught me real quickly is that I thought I had it bad as a kid or that I grew up in a poor environment. And I started to learn that a lot of the places I wanted to go when I left the uh, the resort area, when I left the area where they bring all the people and show them a nice time poverty existed at a level I could have never imagined. And yet I saw people with smiles on their faces. I saw people with joy in their hearts. And I'm like, man, these people living like this, but they got, see, before you can ever graduate and come out. And I have a close uh, friend that I'm developing a relationship with named Chris, who is from Jamaica. And he is the last, I think of like 14 or 15 kids. And and he's the one they're looking at and because he came over here, man, at 18, I think he's like 41 now. 
and he made something of himself, but he started with nothing but this thing. And then I've got another friend whose son's father is from Jamaica, and he's over there learning how to be a man by putting in work, by by being committed to something. And it's not saying some group is better than other. I'm saying that sometimes you've got to have something inside of you that challenges the challenge. See, I don't balk at the challenge. I, what most people call problems are called challenges because, see, I, I look at anything and if it can be solved, it's a challenge. It, 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 it's, it's, it's something, it's a puzzle, it's a challenge, it's something for me to figure out, it's something for me to get over, it's something for me to overcome, it's something for me that's going to build me, strengthen me, make me better. So many people get to the challenge and shut down. Look, I encourage you. Um, get get ready to get out this car um and and go in and do what i gotta do but i encourage you guys to really truly get an idea get get your vision board and when these ideas of what it is you want in life come go to your computer find a picture that represents it put a caption on it print it out put it on the poster board and every put it in places where you can see it on a regular basis why because that image is so powerful it plants an imprint in your brain of where you're going it's going to be the explanation of why you're still fighting when everything around you is working against you and 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 and, and that's so important that we get ourselves in right the clearer your vision the more focused your blueprint, your destination, your walk, and the more committed you'll be able to be. A lot of you have ambiguous goals and visions. I want more money. Well, here's five dollars. Um, I want a better marriage. What in the hell does that mean? You want you want better communication. You 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 want to you want spend more time with your partner. Uh, you want better financial situation. It's so many things that improve a marriage that just saying I want a better marriage doesn't really give you anything. It's hard to even uh, uh, recognize if you're making any progress. When I want to, you, you might be making progress and just don't know it because you don't have anything to measure what you're really wanting out of it from. And anything you want in a situation like a marriage and parenting, be sure that you're bringing equal value of, 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 of a demand on yourself that you're wanting to place on your partner or your children. So, 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 so come to put in some work. When you when you talk about that, if you you're talking about a business, nobody should be working on your business harder than you. No, 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 nobody should be uh, working and trying to do things for your clients harder than you. Nobody should be uh, invested in your dream or your vision more than you. Um, so that that's what it comes from. You've got to develop a mindset that I am not going to be outworked. I'm not going to be uh, out hustled, out grind. You're not going to out grind me. You may be smarter. You may have more resources. You may have a deeper, uh, uh, a deeper bank account at any given moment. But you're gonna have to put that work in. And my thing is, when you think it's over, it's not over because I'm still grinding. I'm not gonna let you out grind me. If we're going after the same thing, one of us is gonna die. I'm gonna get it. That's it. I mean, get it or die trying. That mindset. That mindset is what's gonna take you there. Most people don't have that mindset or, you know, well, I tried, try again, but, but, but I tried it. And, you know, I've heard people say, I've tried everything. No, you didn't. Uh, tell me 20 things. And very rarely have I gotten somebody to be able to rattle off 20 things they've done and trying to accomplish something. Because if you start doing that many things, you start to develop a pattern of relentlessness. If a person get past five things, they're going to keep going until they get it. It, 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 you normally quit in the first five, you know, the first five years, the first five uh, attempts, uh, the first five options. You, you, but, but if you go past five, six, seven, and you still, I ain't got to worry about you. You're going to keep going till you get it. If you put 20 in, you done found it or you're on your way and I can work with that. Stop giving up because it doesn't show up when you think it should. It ain't about that. It's about grinding. I'm trying to tell you that I can go back and look at the different things that I did. And at some point, it was a, it was a big red flag that said fact. And on the fact, there was about five or six reasons why I shouldn't be able to do what I was trying to do. And then I could easily sit up there and look at those facts and go, well, damn, this is facts. What the hell am I going to do to overcome facts? Then I learned that my mind and my faith 
transcended facts, that my mind could rewrite the narrative, that my faith could push me over the top, and that if I stuck with it and decided I was going to have it and told the universe, damn it, I'm going to get it, the universe had to bow down. I'm talking about calling things that are not as though they were at a point and a a place of power that the universe bows. You learn to learn how to speak in 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 in, in a faith that transcends your moment. Too many of y'all are talking your condition. Too many of y'all are talking where you're at now. Too many of y'all are shaken up by an event in your life, a place, a condition, a momentary thing that's got you shaky, that's got you scared, that's got you frustrated. You better be able to wake up and look on the inside of you and see that there's something beyond that moment. And you are the one that has the power to push through it or you'll find yourself trapped. And see, that's when you move from pain to suffering, when you decide to stay in it because it scares you. Let me get out of here and go get my coffee and get back home before I get in trouble. But uh, I just wanted to to share that with you because as soon as I get in, I need to get to work. Because like I said, I don't know how much time I got today before my body starts talking crazy to me. Uh, Hopefully, man, this will be the last day I got to deal with this this food poisoning. But uh, the one thing that I can tell you, uh, my wife is still shaking her head, is that not one day did I let it keep me in the bed. Um, and you know, maybe I paid the price later on that day, but I'm just that person. Um, if I can fight because I'm not going to feel 100% every day, I'm not going to always have everything lined up for me the way I want it to be lined up. And if I start giving in because I don't feel good, because the day seems long, because, oh man, I, it's just one of them days. I just want to kind of chill. You don't think I get those days where I just want to stay in the bed and chill. But see, that's that's not what the dream at. The dream ain't, ain't in the bed. A lot of people think, well, you dream in the bed, but though the dream is not in the bed. The dream is actually in the process. The dream is in putting in the work. The dream is in fighting. Uh, uh, the, the dream is in going all in. The dream is in meeting people, talking to people, getting up. Something as simple as getting up and saying, I'm going to do it no matter how bad I feel. And then ending up going to the store to get some coffee and running into somebody and then blessing them and speaking into their lives and shaking their hand and loving them, passing them a dollar or something. And then finding energy, finding force and shifting your entire viewpoint in a moment because you got up. Some of you been knocked down. Get up. Some of you been knocked down. Get up. You know, if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. I don't care what you've been through. And I know some of you have been through some hard things, but if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. If you're still breathing, there's still a plan for your life. There's still something for you to do. And it exists in exceptional. It exists in extraordinary. It exists in phenomenal. It is not about being mediocre, being average, just settling. It's not about acquiescing to the pressures of those who hate you and despise you and wish you nothing but good. It's about standing up and pushing forward despite the pain. Knowing that pain don't last always. Hmm. You better learn that on the other side of struggle, on the other side of pain, on the other side of heartache is promise. And promise delivers some pretty exceptional things. I love all of you guys. You guys uh, have an unbelievable day. I'm going to get off of here, get in this store, uh, try to find somebody that I can bless uh, in the process. Um, And I I encourage you to do the same thing just randomly. Reach out and touch somebody that you would not normally talk to, that you would not normally speak to. Um, Don't listen. My wife probably tell you I terrorize this old lady uh, that's in the store right now. Me and this old lady, we just got a thing. We've been going at each other for about three years now. We always got something smart to say to each other. But that, you know, that's just the way we deal with each other. I mean, you know, it keeps her going. She's still holding down her jobs. Well, she need to have herself at home, but she she's still holding down the job. So if I go in there, I might run into her and get her the business. But it's all in love. And, you know, it's never in disrespect. But it's just, that's, you know, that's me. I find a person's personality and how they get out. And that's how I get out with them. Um, and so I, I, I really, really, really... Uh, uh, I really, really want you to 
Find a way to be a blessing, and I guarantee the energy you create with that alone is going to provide the force that will push you through all the dark times that you encounter. Uh, don't become frightened or afraid when that happens. Just know that you're built for the battle. Know that you're built for it. Know that you can overcome it. Know that there's nothing in this world that you're going to face down that the designer didn't create you to break through. With that being said, I'm going to check out of here. As I always say, I absolutely adore the, the, the life that I have been given. It hasn't always been uh, on the pinnacle or, or the apex of existence, but it's always been with promise and potential and capacity. And that's where I live is just knowing that tomorrow I'm going to do something to, to, to help change somebody's life. And that that's good. But uh, uh, live life on full so that you die on eat. That's my thing for you. That's what I, 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 I just challenge you. Live life on full so that whenever it's your time to go, you don't leave anything behind. With that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.